All right, welcome to week eight. Okay, this week you're going to read chapter 16, and that is international political economy. So think of it. We have all of this trade. We produce goods. We produce more than we use of some things. Um, think of when the Ukraine war first kicked up. There was a lot of conversation about wheat, specifically how it would impact countries like India because the Ukraine is a huge wheat producing area. So there is a global international political economy and it's made up of politics the rules and customs that govern that and economics. So, so throughout history, um, we see these global powers really driving a lot of things for the rest of the world. Um, the Cold War really is, uh, so the USSR and the United States were allies against Germany in World War II. Immediately after, Eastern Europe, Europe is just torn to shreds. It's just war torn. Um, you know, because the war was fought, Hitler wanted to expand Germany. So everywhere he went expanding, it's just war torn. And so there was a concern that the USSR would try to grab these countries um, that were weakened. So we had policies like the Marshall Plan aimed at bolstering countries that were in danger of falling to communism. And, um, and we also see things like the Berlin airlift, which is not covered in our chapter, but is a fascinating thing. Um, but the Marshall Plan is, we also see talk about the gold standard. So before World War I, most global economies were backed by gold. If you said you had $100, that meant you had $100 in Fort Knox or something similar, you know, guaranteeing that. In 1944, we see a dramatic departure from the gold standard, and then we abandoned it in 1971, um, the United States. So, we start to see organizations come on, like the World Trade Organization, the World Bank. We start to see just many different things happening internationally in this chapter. It's a really good chapter. We also learn about different types of systems, capitalism, mercantilism, learn about different types of systems. Oh, the Bretton Woods Institute. Um, that's where we left many countries. I think 44 countries met. Well, it was in 1944. I don't know how many countries met, several. In 1944 in New Hampshire, Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, and decided, hey, this gold standard is not working for us. So then they came up with a monetary system so that you, know, you wouldn't travel to another country and have the dollar be devalued. This also had huge trade implications. So this all really is a world economy. We're not just all independent in our own little spheres of geography. Um, also this week we have a quiz, also. So when I originally built this class, it was a 10 week class. Obviously your class is a 16 week class. So sometimes um, you look at the grade book and you're like, ah, you know, I didn't take this quiz. That's just because it's titled differently than what it's going to be here. So don't freak out. Always reach out to me though, so we can get that clarified and then keep the grade book a little cleaner. I'm trying to do that as I change assignments. I'm trying to keep up with the grade book, um, the titles in the grade book, but if I miss something, let me know, but also don't panic. Um, all right, have a great week.